violation of the Versailles Treaty in 1934, the German industry began manufacturing armored vehicles and tanks, and the German army began to build tank formations. In late 1934, a special uniform for the men of the tank formations began to make the scene. Although design and color were practical characteristics, the origins of these characteristics may have been influenced by the Imperial German Death's Head Hussar uniforms. These were back, double-breasted tunics with the Death's Head emblem. The Death's Head emblem was also used in World War I by the Infant German Tank Corps. The characteristics included a double-breasted style which provided extra protection from weather and the black color was adopted so that oil and gasoline spills on the uniform didn't show as bad as on the grey-green. Initially, these uniforms were to be worn only when the crew was with the armored vehicles. It also restricted the issue of such uniforms to the tank crews. Whenever the tank crew were away from the vehicle, such as home leave or executing other duties, the service dress uniform, the field grey, was to be worn. By the end of 1940, however, the service dress uniform was no longer issued to the Panzer crews, with exception of the field grey great coat, so that the black Panzer uniform was to be worn on all occasions. The initial issue of the black Panzer uniform consisted of black Panzer beret, field jacket, field trousers and a dark grey tricot shirt and a black necktie. And now let's see the equipment. The tank crew headset, as shown, was worn in conjunction with a throat microphone. These were essential pieces of kit if the crew were to hear the orders of their commander over the noise of the engine and any gunfire. The standard personal weapon of the tank crewmen was the P08 Luger or the more efficient P38 pistol, each of which had its own distincting holster. Larger tanks were also fitted with a bracket inside the turret to hold an MP40 machine pistol. Despite the many large powerful binocular sets available to the German armed forces, the standard is issue set was the modest 6 multiplied 30. By the latter part of the war most were painted in a color known as Ordnance 10. The soldier's personal ID disc shows his personal number, his blood group and his used designation. Should the soldier be killed, the disc was snapped in half, one half was interred with the body and the other half returned to his unit. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.